Atlantic crossing. There's no wind. It's hot. We're motoring. Couldn't be happier though. I think he needs a hat. Yes. It's our first morning of our Atlantic crossing. Final leg on our way to St. Lucia. 14 days and nights, maybe more offshore. And already the crowd is thinned out. We started with 70 plus vessels and now all we can see on the AIS are maybe five others. It's beautiful. We've been met by dolphins already. Fish on! Also fish on it. Ah, one of your tuna. Oh, dude, that one's got one on it, too. Maybe a big dolphin. Jiminy Cricket. That's a cool trigger piece. This is a beautiful camera. Oh, wow. Cool. Those are awesome. We just came across a big floating piece of debris right off uh, about 100 miles off the coast of Cape Verde and it's covered in wahoo and dolphin. And we're gonna jump in and try to shoot one. Okay. That's a beautiful fish. Wow, we have a lot of food. Yeah, and we're gonna have a lot of for sushi. This guy's gonna go berserk this year. Who is? This dolphin, she's gonna go nuts. Yeah, Look at her looking at me right now. She's going back home on her. She's back. Oh, sorry. We're not sure what it is, but it looks like a crate or something maybe. Um, something wooden perhaps. A kind of square bit of debris floating around it. Can you tell what it is with your... With glasses? With the glasses, no. I mean, no. It kind of looks like an old style hatch cover. Oh, yeah. old style hatch cover, interesting. Yeah, who knows what you're gonna find floating out here in the middle of the Atlantic. It could be anything. Could be anything. But generally speaking, the fish really like to take refuge under the shade of debris. Even if it's trash, they don't know the difference. And just creates like fishing jackpot. It's exciting. Yeah. This is great. When we're trolling the lines, that's a good way for us to identify where the hot spots are and uh, then once we see a lot of action it usually is an indication that there's something around like this that we can if we can spot it we can troll near it we can dive it the guys like to take the guns and jump in and shoot it. actually it looks like plastic now that we're a little bit closer have a look all right scotty yeah. do you have what you want Just want to take a couple breaths. We gotta wind this down, dude. We're out of our alpha state. I saw by this buster fuck we need a minute to get our head together. I'm there. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm there. Because a couple seconds ago I wasn't as confident. No, I was fine though. You were just horsing around like a pussy foot. <laughs> All right, let me hold the line. You you know I'm gonna gap. No, because right? I, I just let me hold the line, let me do my thing, everything would have been fine. I'm telling you it's a silver lining because we have too much fish already. But I will go shoot a wahoo with you. Because this is maybe the last time you see something like this. Probably at my age, you're probably right. We're just doing some circles around a little bit of floating debris under which there's a lot of fish, a whole ecosystem, food chain if you will. And uh, used to be that the mahi-mahi were probably top of the game there, maybe a giant ahi, but now we've showed up <laughs> highest power here yeah, with all our gadgets. That's what we'd like to think. You know, until the great white comes in. 
and then uh, then maybe we're not so high after all. We've got my big Wahoo tuna gun rigged up. We're gonna see what we can shoot. Wahoo! Tuna! Wahoo! All right, Scotty, you ready? Cause I'm ready. Let's go again. Pull all of the equipment out of the way. Let me have the gun. Grab the gun. Grab the gun. I'm going again. Got it. I got it. Yo, if he starts to pull too hard, dude, he's going to pull oh, that shot down. He ain't pulling it out. I already feathered him out. He's all set. Dude, this is a nice pound. I'm saying 50 pounds. I'm saying we might have to go back in the water. No, no. We're going to get the gap right up top. Dude, I'm telling you, back in the water Where is your gun? Where is your gun? It's in another fish. What? It's in a fish. You shot him too? Yeah, there's two on. That's where our float took off. Oh no, I thought I had mine. No, there's two Wahoo. Are you kidding me? No. Why I did you get two, dude? We only we needed the one. Well, I don't fucking Mine's know. bigger That's than yours. <laughs> mine's way bigger, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, mine's a better fish. You're, I, we, I, oh I thought he shot yours. Like so right, let go of my line. I don't want you to tell me about my fish. Oh my. Let go of my line. Ha. Ha. Woo! Right in the back third. Watch this. Yep. There's another one right in the back nice third, too. Oh, no, 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 come here, come here, come here. You're going to get this tail right here. Nice. Watch your teeth. They're teethy. Dude, that's bigger than a 40. Holy shit. Who's the man? <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Yes! Yeah! Woo! Yes! Oh! <laughs> All right. Here we got another one. Dude, that's here. a back third. I'm coming. Hold yeah, just get him. 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 Woo! Get her. Woo! Yes! I can't believe it. I knew we were grabbing him. Oh my gosh. And look at that. Right behind the pectoral fin. Right behind the pectoral fin. It yeah. doesn't get any better with those shots. So this is like a, I'd say 30, 40 pound Wahoo that we just shot. What's important when you're shooting Wahoo is you gotta shoot them right behind these little pectoral fins. So you see where our shot went in right here? If you shoot it anywhere up here, the shaft's gonna go through and the meat will just pull out. Excuse me, the shaft will just pull out of the meat. So you always wanna make sure you're shooting the fish right behind that pectoral fin. These little ass fins. Call that pectoral fin, Scott? That's the rear pectoral and the anal fin. Anal fin, real pectoral, shaft, anywhere down through here. Your shaft won't pull out. You'll be eating wahoo. Wahoo! You! Oh no! This is Doby, our in-house elf. <laughs> no, she's not. She's the amazing Captain Kelly Peterson, doing all the hard lifting around here. <laughs> it's worth it. Fresh wahoo! Wahoo! This is the Wahoo that we caught today. Check it out. 
Wahoo! Eating wahoo, wahoo and looking at whales. Doesn't get much better. Huge, gigantic whale. So we're waking up on the second morning of the crossing and we've had about 25 knots of apparent wind the whole night. We've got like six to eight foot seas out. Um, they're kind of off like our aft beam um, on our starboard side. So the ride's a little aggressive, but now the sun's come up, getting like more of a realization with what's going on around us and um, getting a little more comfortable with it. Can we just readjust it and adjust? So now it's rubbing on a new spot. Mm -hmm. So it's just how long is that the inside gonna, you know what I mean? And then from here on out, it'll be two reefs. <laughs> it's exciting. We've been just getting these squalls coming through every 30 minutes to an hour. The squalls, they only have about like 25 to 30 miles an hour worth of wind in them, but it's enough to get us rolling and rocking. And uh, when I mean, you can't see it when it's darked out, uh, it just makes it a little more intimidating. But we love the wind and we're making great time. We're doing like 150, 200 miles a day right now. So hopefully get us into the other side of the Atlantic in like 14 days.